The Sony FX30 is changing the game when it comes to filmmaking, storytelling, and content creation. And let me tell you why. It was not very long ago that to use a camera with this type of form factor, a DSLR or a mirrorless style hybrid camera, that it came with a significant number of compromises and trade-offs. Oftentimes cameras in this form factor, even up to very recently, came with some significant drawbacks like low dynamic range, poor color science, using 8-bit color, which is just terrible, they would often overheat, the battery life could be bad, and you didn't have professional audio solutions to use XLR microphones. And oftentimes the camera bodies themselves were not great. The monitors could oftentimes be unreliable and force us to use an external monitor to be able to judge focus. And so when Sony released the FX30 and it was something that you could purchase for under $2,000 and had zero of these compromises, it got me really excited because not only is this a tool that can punch way above its weight class and is something that can complement my red Komodo, but it's also something that is going to make the barrier to entry when it comes to filmmaking so much lower and more accessible. And this is a good thing because as more and more people have access to tools that are more and more affordable and don't require all of these other parts and require it to be rigged up and to be able to learn additional tools to make the main tool work, it's just gonna mean that more and more people are gonna be able to tell the stories that they want to. They're gonna be able to have the impact that they wanna have. They're gonna be able to build the businesses that they want to build. And so if you're someone who's purchased the FX30, that might be one of the reasons why you got into it and you invested in this little camera package because it's relatively affordable and the image quality it produces is amazing and it's something that is pretty much ready to go right out of the box. With the FX30's amazing feature set and the price point that it's at, it means that more and more people are gonna have a lower and more accessible barrier to entry into filmmaking. And so when you have this tool and this very capable tool in your hands, it means that all you need to do is just learn how to use this little guy and you're off and running to be able to tell the stories that you wanna tell make the impact that you wanna have or start the business that you've been wanting to create. And this is why I'm excited to let you know that I've actually created a course on the FX30. I think that this camera is super exciting and I've loved working with it. And so I wanna be able to share some of that knowledge with you and be able to help you tell the stories that you're excited about as well. The course is called Getting the Most Out of Your FX30 and I've priced it for under $40. I've used Sony mirrorless and cinema cameras for a decade shooting everything from documentaries in Africa and the Middle East to weddings and commercials. I've made a career out of squeezing the most out of these powerful little cameras and in this course we're going to cover everything from the basics of how to set up your FX30, maximize its image quality, and avoid a few pitfalls. We'll also go over some of the best practices for using the audio top handle and by the end of this course my goal and promise to you is that you'll feel more comfortable using this camera in fast-paced environments and you'll be able to get the absolute best image possible it's priced at under forty dollars to keep it affordable and you can find the link to it down below in the description now don't worry i'm going to continue to create videos on youtube for free and share my knowledge for free but this is a way that not only can help me monetize my channel and create more content here on YouTube for you guys, but it's a way for me to package a lot of what I've learned in a concise and easy to digest course. There's over 19 video modules and two hours of content there. And so just having it all in one clean space is gonna allow people to be able to go through the material, learn the material faster, and honestly not have to sift around YouTube for a lot of these topics. But either way, I want you to know that whether or not you decide to dive in and purchase the course, I want you to know that I'm just excited to be here with you in a community of filmmakers that are excited to share our passion for filmmaking and storytelling. So I can't wait to see what you're gonna make with this awesome little camera. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.